Hi there, my name is Ned Pyle. I'm a Principal Program Manager in Microsoft Corporation and I work on the High Availability and Storage team. And today I'm going to talk to you about Storage Replica, which is a new feature in Windows Server 2016. A storage Replica is synchronous and asynchronous block replication. It protects your workloads by replicating blocks of storage data between sites, between buildings, uh, inside of clusters, between clusters, between uh, individual servers. Now why would I want to use Storage Replica? Well, let's take a look at Manhattan uh, the day before and the day after. You can see uh, Hurricane Sandy taking out all the subterranean infrastructure, the subway systems, all of it, where nobody could get to work, nobody could um, communicate. Look at the size of the storm as it spanned all the way across the eastern seaboard. Storage Replica is designed to protect your data and keep your company in business. In the end, your data is really all that matters, right? Um, you can replace computers, you can replace buildings, you can even replace people. But the data is really why you have a system running. And let's think about that. Here's Seattle and Bellevue. They're separated by Lake Washington. Um, what I can do with Storage Replica is create clusters, or like I said, servers, or clusters being replicated. And by uh, connecting over some network, keep workloads in sync between two sites. So here again I have Seattle and Bellevue. You can see I've got virtual machines that I'm replicating inside of a stretch cluster um, through a dark fiber connection. And I can also replicate uh, general files, SQL databases, all of these things synchronously and asynchronously. So let's look at a real world uh, scenario here for a second. I have um, here uh, some Dell servers, a three node stretch cluster. You can see that I have one node offline for scheduled maintenance right now. So let's take a look at this Dell servers configuration. Uh, I have a large number of VMs running here, as you can see. In fact, I have 500 nano server VMs. Nano servers are new to Windows Server 2016. In this case, I have hundreds of ASP web servers. Uh, I also have um, a SQL server that I'll come to in a second. Look, I'm logging into this nano server right now just to prove that these things are live and going. There's uh, not much to do on a nano server. It's headless, so the actual UI is simply for configuring networking. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, storage that I have configured here. You can see I'm doing replication. If you're familiar with the failover cluster product in Windows Server that dates back uh, many years now, you'd see this new tab. It shows that I'm continuously replicating. That's synchronously replicating. You can see my storage, source, and destination here. You can see how little storage I'm actually using because, again, these nano VMs um, use almost nothing on the drives. And in fact, they use very little RAM, too. I mean, I have 500 of these things running, and I still have plenty of RAM left over out of 128 gig. Now, notice here I have a SQL database running another VM and a very simple SQL query I've put together. All it's doing is creating um, endless thousands and thousands of simple rows of myself. And like I mentioned earlier, Storage Replica is there to help you either prevent or survive disasters. Um, there's the Hollywood disaster, right? Like a gigantic, you know, 500 foot ape knocking over the Space Needle and rampaging through Seattle. Uh, kicking over your cluster and generally causing all your problems. That seems less likely. Um, the more likely case is a hurricane, an earthquake, uh, civil unrest, a flood, um, and the most likely case is human error. So let's take a look at the human error situation here. Now remember I had that node offline. Uh, unfortunately one of my colleagues here, when I told him to bring on that node, he got confused and he actually powered off the remaining node. And what's worse is he actually cut the power to it. Um, so now my stretch cluster no longer has any nodes running in Seattle. But what has actually happened? Storage Replica has been synchronously replicating every block of data for every one of those VMs I showed you earlier. And it automatically failed over to the Bellevue site. I didn't have to do anything. It just happened automatically. And you'll see here that these VMs automatically restarted. They started in the priority that I had set them. I can also use the new VM start priority features of Server 2016 to even get more granularity. You can see my SQL database has started back up. I can log into it. There's no errors on it. 
all of my data that I've been blasting in with that simple query is present inside this database dozens of miles away in an entirely different city because it was being synchronously replicated by storage replica the entire time. And you can see here that all of those rows and those endless NEDs that I was creating are just there and they're fine. We take a look and see uh, if my nano VMs are okay. I can connect. You can see that they are running. There's no errors, no boot problems. I can log back into it. Everything's fine because Storage Replica took care of all of this automatically through a stretch cluster, ensuring that even if you're not around, even if the disaster is happening around you, it automatically fails over. And you can see after I figured out the power, my cluster is rejoined, and I'm back in business. And for more information on Storage Replica, you could visit aka.ms forward slash storage replica. And we also blog at aka.ms forward slash server storage. We look forward to getting your feedback on this new product in Windows Server 2016.